The Veeam Hardened Repository is an outstanding way that you can have an immutable copy of data really on any storage. It's on Linux. So whether you want to have a high capacity system with you know, all of your backups, file backups, image-based backups, you have a lot of flexibility. So let's take a quick look at a demo on how you can set up the Veeam Hardened Repository. So what I'm look, looking at right here is a list of repositories. And you'll see that I already have two hardened repositories already set up. I'm gonna walk you through adding a third. Now the first step to adding a hardened repository is to add a Linux server. So let's add one right here. Let's type in the DNS name of that server and let's go through this wizard. Now, I do recommend making it self-documenting. I like to use VHR in the lab to indicate that it's a Veeam hardened repository. But the most important part is right here, the single use credentials for the hardened repository. This is a really good security construct that has this account here. We'll just call it VHR dash single use with a password. And this account is not a root level account on the Linux system. Check out the Help Center for full documentation on that single-use credential. So we'll go ahead and connect to this system, and I'll say with one of my lab tricks, you'll see that those services are already installed. If you're doing this for the first time, that won't be there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that Linux server, add it into the inventory, and you'll see that it's basically in here, ready to go as an inventory Linux system alongside that other entry on the top. And that last step, collecting disk and volume information, is a really good precursor for what we will do next. So let's go over to the repositories and let's add a backup repository. The Veeam Harden repository would align to the direct attached storage option. It's using that Linux server with that storage directly on it. We have a wizard entry here, the Linux Harden repository, that will guide us through the specific options that we need for the Linux Harden repository. So let's go ahead and click into this and let's give it a name. Again, I recommend, you know, self-documenting names. And I'll just say that this is a setup example. So let's go ahead and click next. You'll see it found that server that we just added. And then now we're gonna say, where is that repository? So I have on this example, a dedicated disk for the backup storage. And I've put it as a mount point of VHR. Now you can configure it a number of different ways. And I'll say those other entries there are some of my lab tricks. But if you're doing this for the first time, you would just pick your path of your designated storage. So let's connect and get the storage information. And there's two really important options. The first is about using fast cloning on XFS. This is a great way as a storage efficiency to prevent duplication. It's not deduplication, but it prevents duplication. And then secondly, the pre-populated option, which you can't turn off, which is cool, make backups immutable for seven days by default. Again, that's why we're doing this. We want immutable copies of data. And let's go ahead and finish the rest of the wizard. And this part of it is really consistent to any other repository type you may have set up. And again, you'll see that some of those components are already in place and it's gonna finish the setup. And just like that, you have a really easy way to configure a Veeam hardened repository that you can straight away send your backups to. And once this is done, you'll see it'll show up in the list of other repositories and it's ready to go. So it's pretty straightforward and it's just that easy. So as you can see, setting up the Veeam hardened repository is pretty easy. Just need a Linux system, set up that single use credential, check out the documentation at helpcenter.veeam.com. And if you like what you see, go over to the website and download a trial today.